Hi, uh, I'm Sungjoo. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's hard to say. But uh, I made this painting uh, last year after uh, enjoying the London Philharmonic Orchestra concerts. At the time, I began uh, curious about how painting as a medium could appeal to the viewer in a soundless, yet still in a musical way. I didn't want to portray a specific speaker by using my own memory of the uh, subject matter, uh, but rather uh, I'm hoping the painting uh, to function as an agent for the viewers uh, to jog their own memory of this particular object. So painting and the technology of speakers and devices that you're talking about, you see a relation between those two things that you're trying to emulate through painting? Or are your concerns more about design? Are your concerns more about the way it looks when it's finished? Uh, I mean, inspired by the the archetype of interface, like uh, intuitiveness, uh, reliability and accessibility, I'm trying to like, explore by using this painting language how to uh, explore, how to reach that territory as a painter and as an artist. Since you've made the shift to being a painter, who's influenced your painting? My painting, uh, I like uh, my favorite painter is uh, Paul Klee uh, because of how he uh, explored the musicality in his painting. Because I love music and I chose this uh, subject matter. And also I like On Kawara, the Japanese uh, contemporary artist. And, and any artist I like it. <laughs> So these paintings, although they're of objects, they are very much like abstract paintings. I mean, this one reminds me of Malevich's Black Square. Mm -hmm. I mean, is, do you see yourself now as an abstract painter, or are you still a painter of objects? Uh, I'm trying to pursue the in-between, the abstraction and representation. So, and this, I, I'm hoping my painting uh, function as an agent to, uh, for the viewer like you to uh, draw your or everyone's own memory of the subject matter. So I guess that's, that's my <laughs> expectation of my painting. Of course, these are objects we all see in everyday life. And you, I know you've done one uh, paintings of iPods and sort of cabinets as well. Mm -hmm. So are those, what kind of memories are you trying to trigger? Are you trying to make people feel, how are you trying to make people feel? It work. depends on the viewer's own memory or experience uh, uh, in relation to the, uh, this object. I guess maybe happy, nostalgia, or some personal, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm just, that's, that I'm, that's why I'm playing with the idea how painting can function as an interface as I said earlier. Interface between memory and object, or an interface between music and art? Interface, uh, maybe communicate myself, and not, not only by myself, but everyone, and between painters and the viewers. As a painter, uh, I'm interested in how painting can convey the idea of musicality only within, with painting language. And I hope this painting entertain the viewers uh, with uh, the, uh, the musical imagination or artistic it's creativity. It's different though from something like Kandinsky or Paul Clay where they translate music with a sort of almost expressionist use of paint. Yours is very, um, very tidy and very ordered. Is that reflecting a particular kind of music, or is that again just reflecting your your own personal response? I guess my own personal response. There's no specific uh, uh, piece of music. Yeah.